Hi everyone and welcome to Inside Bristol. I'm your host Sheridan Nichols and starting today we've got the fire department here and we're talking about the Citizens Fire Academy. Is that right? That's right. That's our big topic of the day here and we've got James Revis here from the fire department to share with us a little bit about this academy and if you're interested and want to get involved how you can do that. Uh, we're proud to be having another uh, Citizens F uh, Fire Academy this uh, April. Uh, we're going to have one starting on April 27th and it's on Thursday nights and it'll run from 6 to 9 o'clock and will be eight weeks and we're taking applications. You can go to the city's website bristoltn.org and over on the left hand side you'll find a, a link to the application and we'll take applications up to a week before the April 27th. And typically, how many people do you have that sign up for this? Uh, we've had uh, one class we had about a dozen people. Uh, right wow. now, they're wanting to hold it to 10, 10 people. Okay. So you need to get online and, and get signed up, and then you just sort of pick and choose through the applications, or is it first come, first serve? Uh, first come, first serve, okay. and then it's uh, citizens of Bristol, Tennessee first, and then, okay. we, then we can take people from uh, other jurisdictions after that. But I know, it, you know, the police also, also do something very similar right, to this. Right. And, and of course, you know, we've heard about a little bit about what you do um, in the Citizens Academy with the fire department as well. But it is so popular with, um, with the general public, with all of us. I think we're always so interested in what you do. Yeah, everybody that goes through it talks about how they really enjoyed it and how much they learn about what it takes to be a firefighter. Uh, they get uh, hands-on training just like they got hired by the fire department and they go through all the training and uh, do uh, everything from advancing hoses to actually going into smoke uh, training houses and do repelling and climbing up and down ladders and uh, vehicle extrication. Wow. They get to do it all. Does it cost anything? No, it doesn't cost anything. Okay. And then once they sign up, how do you, you'll contact them right. and let them Correct. know. Correct. So you just really basically need to get online and submit your application and then the fire department will contact you and let you know if you've got a slot, a slot there available. Yep, that's correct. And so it'll run on the Thursday night. Thursday nights. Uh, and then each week is just a different training. Right. The first night, uh, kind of get together and meet everybody and go over uh, what the eight weeks is going to be and then everybody will actually get issued turnout gear to use for the eight weeks that night. Get everybody fitted and you'll have your set of gear to use. And do they need to have a physical or like a doctor's? or just kind of be in shape? I mean, I always think, picture you all carrying that, everything up those ladders and... Yeah, if you have any medical problems, it probably would have to be brought up to see if a doctor would allow you, because there is a lot of uh, strenuous physical activity. But we can uh, cater it to somebody that's not able to do all the physical okay. activity. They can uh, do the classroom part and then they can observe the actual hands-on uh, things. Well, this is exciting. I know it's always nice to know what you all do and to get kind of your hands dirty in this kind of work and see what it's all about. And, and it can come in handy too. Oh yeah. None of us ever know if, if we're in one of those situations, you know. Right. To have that extra training is a good thing. Sort of like CPR. I feel like everybody should just have CPR. Oh yeah, for sure. Thing, so. Valuable training to have. Absolutely. Thanks James for being on today and thank you for tuning in. We'll be right back. Stay with us. 